Learning about AI is the smartest thing you can do because it's going to change the world. Luckily for you, this is the ultimate AI tutorial. If you watch the entire video, you will go from a beginner to someone who knows more about AI than 98% of people. You will learn the essential AI lingo, how to create AI images, which jobs are at risk, how to use ChatGPT like a pro, how to clone your voice using AI, which AI stocks Warren Buffett is buying, and much, much more. I'm going to explain everything in a simple and easy way. That way, even a nine-year-old can understand. AI is going to be bigger than the internet, social media, and smartphones combined. And the craziest part is, AI is growing insanely fast. But I guarantee you that if you watch until the end, you will have all the skills necessary to benefit from the AI revolution. First, I'll let you in on a little secret. While there are hundreds of different AI phrases, you will never use the vast majority of them. So I went through all of the AI terms and selected the seven most useful ones. Number one, Prompt means the message you are sending to the AI. Number two, chatbot refers to an AI bot that you can chat with. Number three, AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence, but it essentially means a very smart AI. Number four, Turing test. If you can't tell whether you're talking to a machine or a human, then the machine has passed the Turing test. Number five, the singularity is a point in the future where AI becomes so smart that it starts improving itself. Number six, narrow AI is the exact opposite opposite of AGI. It's an AI that can only do a certain thing, like weather forecasting or self-driving. And number seven, generative AI is a type of AI that creates new stuff, whether that's text, images, videos, or even songs. Now that you know the essential AI lingo, let's look at the five most important AI skills. And in this video, I'm going to teach you all five. If you're new to the channel, my name is David Andre, and I make useful videos like this one. So if you want to see more AI stuff, please subscribe. It takes just two seconds. The first AI skill you have to learn is knowing how to write good prompts. After that, you need the ability to create AI images. The third skill is using AI to clone your own voice or to create completely new voices. Then you should learn AI video creation. And finally, the most important skill is the ability to learn fast. Let's start with prompts. If you know how to write great prompts, ChatGPT will make you more productive, save you hours of your time, and you will start using it every day. Step zero, go to chat.openai.com and create an account. Step one, be specific. Generic prompts lead to generic answers. Here is what the difference between bad and good prompts looks like. Step two, provide examples. Give it a few good examples of what you're looking for and the response will be infinitely better. Step three, if you want to use ChatGPT like a pro, you have to know when to stop. If your prompt is too short, you will get mediocre answers. But if the prompt is too long, you will just confuse the AI. And step four, have a conversation. Unless you need a quick answer, it's usually wise to build a dialogue with several messages. ChatGPT might be the most popular AI out there, but it can't do everything. There are AI tools which can create breathtaking images, ultra-realistic AI voices, insane videos, new 3D models, original AI music, and much, much more. But before I show you some of these incredible tools, let's look at the people behind the AI revolution. Sam Altman is the face of AI right now. He is the CEO of of OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. Elon Musk has multiple AI projects, the self-driving cars, the Optimus robots, and his new company X.AI. Jeffrey Hinton played a huge role in the invention of deep learning. Demis Hassabis founded DeepMind, the AI company that Google owns. Lex Friedman runs the most popular AI podcast in the world. Ilya Satskever is the chief scientist at OpenAI. He is the guy who will most likely create AGI. And of course, there's Alan Turing, the first and most important pioneer in the field of artificial intelligence. As you can imagine, there are countless others, but I have to keep it brief because there are so many other things that I want to show you, like how to create your first AI image. You can use this to create a logo for your business, to make a thumbnail for a YouTube video, to create a cool profile picture, to design presets that you can sell online. I mean, there are endless reasons why you have to know how to create AI images. The first step is choosing a tool. Personally, I use Midjourney since right now it's the best. But Stable Diffusion or Leonardo AI are great alternatives. All right, so let me teach you how to create mind-blowing AI images like these ones. Step zero, go to midjourney.com and click on sign in. This will ask you to connect your Discord account. If you don't have one, then click on register and create it. Once you're in Discord, you'll see a white icon on the left. That's the Midjourney server. Click on it and look to the 
right. We need to find the mid journey bot. Right click and select message. And this is where the magic happens. To create your very first AI image, simply type slash imagine followed by the prompt. Start with single word prompts like fractal or glory. These can produce some insane results. But obviously you can create anything you want. It's crazy because just two years ago, mid journey didn't exist. This goes to show how insanely fast AI is improving. One of the main reasons why AI is exponential is Moore's law. Back in 1975, Gordon Moore observed that the number of transistors on microchips doubles roughly every two years. Because of that, we get a graph that looks something like this. To put it simply, every two years computers get two times better. And those computers are used to train AI models, so you can connect the dots. But if that wasn't crazy enough, there is a second exponential curve in the AI field, and that's the number of scientific papers published each year, meaning the amount of research in AI and machine learning is also exponential. This is why you have to learn AI right now. There's literally no time to wait. But it also means that if you do start taking AI seriously, in six months, you will be miles ahead of everybody you know. I showed you how to use ChatGPT like a pro and how to create AI images in mid-journey. But let's take a look at a skill that's much more rare than these two. I'm talking about creating AI voices. While millions of people know ChatGPT and mid-journey, only a fraction of that have heard about 11 Labs. It's funny, you might have never used the AI tool, but I guarantee that you will recognize some of the voices. These AI voices have recently been taking over YouTube shorts. And all of them were made in 11 Labs. So let me show you how to use this incredible tool. What's amazing is that you don't even need an account. Just go to 11labs.io and enter the text you want narrated. Then select one of the voices and start playing around with it. Now, if you want to access more features like designing completely new AI voices or using AI to clone your own voice, you'll have to create an account. But it's free, so it's a no-brainer. Creating AI voices is great, but there is a skill that's even more valuable. And that's the ability to create AI videos. And because not many people have this skill, the opportunity is that much bigger. But first, let's look at seven crucial mistakes beginners make. Because I know you are making at least a couple of these and they are holding you back. The first mistake I see all the time is not iterating enough. No matter what AI tool you are using, your first prompt is never going to be perfect. So keep trying, keep improving until you get the results you were looking for. A lot of beginners also believe that AI is a new field. Sure, the tools and companies are new, but the field of artificial intelligence goes back to the 1940s. Another common myth is that there is a way to reliably detect AI generated text, which there isn't. Even the very best AI checkers can't defeat GPT-4. The next mistakes newbies make is mixing topics in a single chat GPT conversation. Look, there is a chat history for a reason. If you're going to switch topics, start a new chat. The funniest thing beginners do is asking chat GPT for recent information. You have to understand, chat GPT doesn't have access to the internet. Anything after 2021 is off limits. If you want an AI chatbot that can search the web, then try BART from Google. Google. But I do have to warn you, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Though it's not as bad as the next myth, thinking OpenAI is still open. When the company was founded back in 2015, it was open source and non-profit. However, over the years, OpenAI somehow managed to become a closed source for-profit company. But by far the biggest mistake of all is learning AI and not taking any action. I'll do my best to teach you everything you need to know, but you will learn the most by actually experimenting with these tools. I'm saying this so passionately because I've made the mistake myself. Now, as I promised, let's look at how you can create top tier AI videos while most people are still wondering how to use ChatGPT. All right, step zero, go to runwayml.com. This is the best AI video tool out there. And yes, they have a free plan. After you sign up, you'll see that Runway offers a wide range of AI tools. Their most famous tool is definitely video to video. This lets you upload your own video and turn it into anything you can imagine. Runway also allows you to train your own AI model. Let's say you want to create a bunch of AI images of yourself or of your favorite pet or maybe a family member. Well, thanks to Runway, all of this is possible, but that's not what we're here for. I want to show you their latest and best AI tool yet, text to video. The first time you try this, it honestly feels like magic. Just by writing some text, you can create full scale AI videos within a few seconds. Or you can upload an image and turn that into a video.
video. For example, I made this image with Midjourney and I uploaded it to Runway. And this is the result. Yeah. AI is insane, especially given that this is the worst it's ever going to be. Give it 12 months and these AI videos will be completely indistinguishable from real videos. Now, there are three more things you have to know in order to fully capitalize on the AI revolution. One, the jobs that are at risk and the jobs that will benefit. Two, the single best way to learn about AI. And of course, what AI stocks is Warren Buffett buying? Let's start with the jobs. Everyone talks about AI replacing jobs, but just like any tech technology in the past, AI will also create a ton of new jobs. Alright, so which jobs are at risk? and which will prosper. Anyone who works in customer service is definitely at risk. Even the AI we have today can easily handle 95% of the questions that customers have. On the other hand, the demand for AI and machine learning engineers will go through the roof. So if you're someone who likes computer science and math, this career is a wise move. The next job that will slowly be replaced is truck drivers. Now let's be honest, we all saw this coming. But something that not many people realize is that mechanics and technicians will likely benefit from AI, especially if they can learn the basics of robotics. One of the first jobs that ChatGPT put at risk was copywriters. Within two years, all copywriting will be done by AI language models. Content creators, however, will benefit immensely from the new AI tools, at least in the short term. But I'm not as optimistic about accountants. Sure, high-level accounting will be done by humans. However, most accounting is very repetitive, which means AI can do it. Entrepreneurs on the other hand will greatly benefit from the AI revolution. Since you don't have to hire as many people, starting a new business has never been easier. Now this is a controversial one. Lawyers. If you're a lawyer who charges crazy money for answering basic questions, you should be worried. Because AI can do that too. Faster, better and cheaper. That means companies will hire people who know how to get the most out of AI. That's exactly what prompt engineers do. This profession basically didn't exist 12 months ago, but now every business needs one. Okay, so you know that learning about AI is essential, but what's the best way to learn? Twitter is a good way to get fast AI news, but it's also a good way to lose brain cells. Podcasts with AI experts are amazing because you can listen to them when you're driving or when you're on a walk. For more advanced and technical knowledge, use sites like Coursera. But by far the best way to learn is to actually start using the tools yourself. Just by spending 30 minutes on each tool, you will already be in the top 1% of AI education. Now, as I promised, let's look at which AI stocks Warren Buffett has been buying. Over 47% of his portfolio consists of three companies that are heavily involved in AI. Warren has about $907 million in Snowflake, which is one of his smaller positions. The second company with exposure to AI is Amazon, where Warren has a cool 1.2 billion. But that's nothing compared to his Apple position. The latest MacBooks actually contain a dedicated 16-core neural engine, which means that Apple is taking AI very seriously. 40% of all information that we learn, we forget within 24 hours. So I highly recommend you watch the video again. That way you actually remember all the new things you've learned.